The earliest confirmed progenitors of modern dragon kind are the proto-dragons of Northrend, though it does remain unclear if they were created by the Titans or existed before them. However, recently uncovered information by Bran Bronzebeard reveals that proto-dragons originate from the stone drakes of Deepholm, in addition to other similar elemental drakes. The Warcraft 3 manual also states that dragons share a common ancestry to both griffins and wyverns, in addition to some speculation that they may be evolutionarily linked to dinosaurs. Proto-drakes are generally bestial and display none of the great intelligence and wisdom of their dragon cousins. However, during Azeroth's prehistory, some of them became capable of rational thought and broken speech. Five of these oddities would later become the dragon aspects. The Vrykul were the first mortal race to recognize the potential of proto-dragons as mounts, and began taming the red proto-drakes first. Dragon riders can be seen throughout the Howling Fjord, and pretty much everywhere else the Vrykul made their mark. The Argent Crusade also tamed bronze proto-drakes to be used as mounts, and they can be occasionally seen working together with their dragon cousins in Northrend. The fact that proto-dragon whelps grow incredibly fast and can devour nearly twice their weight in meat per day probably helped with their domestication. The largest proto-drake ever known was Galakrond, who lived in prehistoric Northrend. His size was greater than all of the aspects combined, his roar could be heard from miles around, and the flap of his wings generated strong winds. Galakrond began cannibalizing his proto-dragon brethren, growing larger and becoming increasingly mutated, while also turning those he ate into his undead servants. He was eventually defeated by the future dragon aspects, who then encouraged a rumor that he was their progenitor, so that the truth about him remained secret and that no other dragon tried to imitate him. During the war against the Lich King, the Scourge attempted to resurrect the massive worm, but their plans were thwarted by us adventurers. Yay! Originally, during their Golden Age, there were many different dragon flights, with colors as varied as the rainbows. This can be seen somewhat in the Dawn of the Aspects novel, which illustrates many different shades and colors of proto-drakes. The five most influential, however, were naturally the reds, the greens, the bronze, the black, and the blues. And eventually most, if not all, of the other flights disappeared. And that one cool albino drake mount. And since you liked my afterthoughts the first time, Tyranor, let me just let me just say, I don't know if you felt this way, but holy shit, was Dawn of the Aspects such a convoluted mess? Like the whole Galakrond thing, all they did was had to like explain it simply, and then they they made it nonsense. Like they made up a rumor that he was their progenitor because he was eating other dragons, but why would that stop people? Why would that stop other dragons from eating? their brethren, just because they knew the Aspects were supposedly progenitors of Galakrond, and then he's barfing up zombie dragons, which were not Scourge. They were called the Unliving. Did you know that? That also is really stupid. But they were called the Unliving. Um, and people initially thought he was going to be, because he got all mutated and such before the final part came out, that it was going to be related to the Old Gods, and that's why the Titans came, because they were investigating it. But then the Old Gods were not involved whatsoever, even though Northrend's, like, right where yogg Saron is. And is <laughs> Richard Knack, gotta love it. Take something that should have been simple and made it stupid. <laughs> Sounds like Wolfheart. <laughs> 